How did we get to where yes. we get? Well, you see, a new friend showed up during the big kerfuffle uh, and brawl and decided that we looked like the winning side and, uh, you know, helped bring an end to things. And after they kidnapped Erezid, or the cultists kidnapped Erezid, uh, then there was a call of truce and to have an hour of downtime. Uh, so we could do stuff, they could do stuff and everything. Uh, well, show up within an hour type deal. Uh, or else your friend's going to die. It was less of a truce, more of a threat, if I'm being completely honest, but hey, we got a short rest. Uh, then we Hocus Pocus stepped on Focus, uh, found our way to wherever this is, uh, and the kerfuffle too began as we started fighting uh, an undead nerd, uh, Stevie Wonder, uh, some failures, and Marasu, and we ended last session with Marasu dead at Chance's hands. Specifically, how would he have taken him down? Well, you see, would have slashed at, at his sword arm to make him drop the sun's tear before following up with a thrust through the chest and finally bringing the dagger in and up through uh, the jaw in up into the skull. And with that, Chance lets out a deep exhale, pulling the weapons from uh, the body of whatever abomination this is. Was his brother, has the soul of his father, an abomination in the most uh, literal of terms. Uh, before reaching down and picking up his sword. Upon seeing uh, Masaru dropping dead, both of the remaining uh, enemies are going to drop their weapons. But it's not quite their turn yet, so I'm going to ask Audra. Rebuttal. Um, is it a free action to give a chance a hug? <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. The grapple action. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grapple like, you. Just like a hug from behind. Are you okay? Hugging is not a free action. <laughs> no! I did what must be done. It's a bonus action. For the betterment of the realm. For the world. It's okay if you're not okay, though. And Adra will hold an action to uh, produce flame anybody hostile who approaches. <laughs> Providence. The uh, man that you thought you know indestructible what? is now dead. Providence will dispel the spiritual weapon and sit on the ground. Uh, she is surrendering. Poof. That beautiful artwork. Solus? Um... Not really, like, paying attention to the situation behind him, but rather the person with a sword in front of him. <laughs> he's checking, noticing his reaction to the situation, and he's just going to stand there, hold his shield up, and dodge. Fair enough. Uh, this one over here is going to drop his weapon and bolt immediately to the west, screaming. Ah! <laughs> Henry. 
AC Hunter is the kind of goober that, that really doesn't like it when people do stuff to him, so he's gonna walk <laughs> over and start whacking at this guy. I love that little goober. Yeah, I love that little goober. Oh, look at this silly little bloodlust. <laughs> he's just That's a little so guy. <laughs> he's just a little guy. He's not hurt anyone. Guy. He's only got a hundred hit points. <laughs> and a big fuck off Warhammer. Oh, look oh, at the yeah. little guy. Look at his little damage. I hit. I'll, yeah. We'll smite. We'll do a second, a first level smite as well. <laughs> Well, it's another a strike. Solid 22 damage. Yep. Takes another strike. And another hit. 21. We're going to smite again. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. That's what? 21 damage? Well, Stevie Wonder falls to his knees. And he was looking like he was going to do that anyway. But he falls to one knee. And then the other. War crimes! And then falls flat on his torso. Dead. Henry! <laughs> War crimes! <laughs> Henry! <laughs> uh, but that is all of the hostiles in the area. Okay, what the fuck? I cast Healing Word. <laughs> Pod. If that guy's not fully dead, I will healing word him back up. Um, so he had 35 hit points remaining when Henry started blasting. My maths So he's just unconscious, right? <laughs> <laughs> well... Would you like to go over and do a medicine check to him? It is out of turn order now. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just... Uh, Chance will walk back and hand the dragon fang back to Arizid. Fuck, I'm really bad at medicine. <laughs> Thanks. And he's gonna he's gonna put it away. No, thank you. Are are, are you sure you're okay? I'm fine for now. Chance will go back and inspect the the dead body to ensure it's dead. And that there's no magic fuckery about. So I hear another goddamn phylactery. I am going to scream. <laughs> I think that is reserved. That is like a special level of hell reserved for Sklard. <laughs> first things first. Uh, Audra rushes over to have a look at the Stevie Wonder looking dude. Uh, and she sees his chest is concave. And it's not okay. moving. He's super dead. <laughs> I mean, with one of uh, the many types of healing that bring people back from the dead, you could probably do something about it. Like a revivify, but... I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna grab his belt so I have whatever <laughs> money pouch and weapons he had on him and just take that. <laughs> Uh, Sorry. He has like a small, I suppose you'd call it more of like a medicine pouch. Um, he has like a small vial attached to his belt that appears to contain like powdered mushroom. You look at it and you're immediately, there are like little flashbacks of various tormenting voices just worming their way back into your brain. That you're reminded of when you look at these mushrooms. Can I throw it as far, like directly upwards in the air as I can, and then hit it with a produce flame? Oh, uh, can you? You don't have to be um, on the ground to pr to have produce flame added, does it? I think that's sacred flame. Yeah, no, produce flame is. Yeah, you can just do that anywhere. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, go for it. Please roll me a um, acrobatics or athletics check to determine how good you are at throwing it. 
Hey! <laughs> pretty damn good, it flies straight upwards, so you're able to get a pretty good lock on it as you produce flame, and the AC for this will be 8. Yep. Uh, it's now raining aerosolized magic mushroom. Congrats! Oh no! I was hoping to incinerate it! I mean, you did, but... You know, when you, when you burn certain drugs... Hunter doesn't necessarily understand how drugs work. <laughs> That's very fair. And evident. Um, it just... From the... Like, you're able to throw it a good way up in the air, like a good... How, what's the range on that? Thirty feet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So not. Yeah. I was gonna try and give you some leeway there. You throw it, and when it begins to fall back down into being thirty feet exactly in the air, you lob a ball of fire at it. Uh, it hits the uh, small vial. It, it incinerates it since the vial happens to be made of wood. But it, there's a lot of smoke that's coming around, and you, you, it, there's a very earthy, like woody scent to it that seems familiar. Uh, and it begins to settle in like a rough twenty foot radius of your current position. I'm just gonna use my movement to run over this way <laughs> and gesture for everybody else to clear the area. Anyone? Wait, where are you going? Hi. <laughs> Just clear the smoke! Clear the smoke! <laughs> Don't tell Henry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. How do you move? Oh, how does oh I, thought it was, I thought it was centered on my I'm, position. I'm still doing it. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that's about right. Can I grab and drag the, the corpse? Oh yeah. Arizid, you may want to move slightly more. Yeah. Uh, so finally, back to the corpse. It's offering no resistance. Mm. And Chance is going to start dragging it. Uh, back towards the focus. You find that the focus has now disappeared. Oh, god damn it. It's okay, it's okay. I can figure out where we are. Um. <laughs> look up at the sky. <laughs> um, by looking up at the stars, can I tell which direction the camp would be in <laughs> relative to where we were before? Uh, what is that a, um. a feature spell? <laughs> Uh, I it mean, just, it's just. I, I thought it would be like a survival check because she uses the stars to navigate. She's an astronomer. I was just double checking because, for, for example, Arizid can navigate terrain using a feature. <gasps> Is Arizid yeah. going to do that? <laughs> yes. The pair of you together can certainly. Uh, get a solid understanding of what's going on. Um, if it's role-based, I will give Aris an advantage. Okay. I think Aris might have advantage to that already, but let me just double-check, because it's been a hot minute. My proficiency bonus is doubled if, I, if, I, if I'm using a skill I am proficient in. Okay, so it's just double, it's just expertise. So you could still benefit from advantage. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, so instead of- I don't know, I double my proficiency in a roll, I don't know. Uh, just add four. Instead of plus six, <laughs> okay. you have plus ten, so just, yeah, add four to it. And roll with advantage on survival. Tight. That's twenty-six. You approximate that you are, based on the stars, about half a mile due east of where you last were, of where the camp is. 
I will relay this information in, in a stuttery and, and quiet fashion. Well, let's get walking. And Jen's just going to drag this corpse by the collar and start walking in that direction. <laughs> this seems like an emotionally healthy response. Um, as people are heading off, Solus is going to wander off a bit, and after quickly sheathing his sword, he quickly draws it again as he's going to use a special feature of it that he can do once an hour to extinguish all of the flames within 30 feet of them, or non-magical flames within 30 feet. So the bush is no longer on fire, hopefully. It doesn't look healthy. But yeah, it's certainly no longer on fire. It'll grow back. Slash and bird agriculture is there for a reason. What is that? Uh, it's when you cut down like certain parts of plants, usually like old or dead parts, and then you burn those parts and it makes like really good fertilizer for like the remaining plants. Oh. It's really uh, good for like crop rotation. I like your words, but I don't know what all of them mean. Well, sometimes, if you plant the same plants in the soil over and over, the earth gets angry. Oh, but I thought that plants were supposed to go in the ground. They are, but different plants need different things, and if, you use, like, if you're growing the same plants over and over and like harvesting them, it's just taking a lot of like a certain kind of nutrient from the soil, and it's like not oh, getting up right. Okay. Well, you can tell me about agriculture while we're walking. I think that might be a welcome distraction from the horrors that we have witnessed. Yeah, agriculture is always a nice distraction from gestures vaguely. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm <beyond> comprehension. <laughs> <laughs> it is. The map. Don't you love modern art? I have created my fair share of cosmic horrors for this game. This keeps all of them. <laughs> If someone wants to like screenshot this for posterity and then remove it all, oh, that would be great. No. <laughs> yeah. You can't. It's so important. Look at all this information. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you want me to screenshot it and then we could just put it on the information tab or something? Sure. That would be good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what the fuck am I staring at? <laughs> 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 Uh, this is the world Great map question. after we look we were doing a bunch of planning so we just started do like putting our plans and scribbles and everything all over the world map yep. and yep. now we're here and also we got some information about like potentially how the world will change once we do a big thing so we also made some like notes about that i uh, yes, i see I'm making sure to include the have a nice day Mm. Very important. Yeah, I'll remove some of the lines. Lake stuff is staying, and I feel like that's relatively important. Yeah, well, long story short, Josh, they just went kind of mad one day. I went kind of mad one day. <laughs> I can see that. The little circle is uh, the location of the camp. <laughs> well, that's where we're heading. Yep, and on the way, I am going to chat aimlessly about agriculture because I'm like very nervous about the way that Chance is acting. <laughs> he is certainly uh, making some primitive irrigation trenches uh, behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much sand burn that body is gonna have by the time we get there, man? <laughs> Good. It only takes you about an hour to walk back. Um, it from now you're able to to get further away from where the Hocus Pocus took you. Uh, it seems to be that it was some form of abandoned 
like outside ritual spots in the middle of nowhere. Seems sus. If Masaru was using it, oh yeah. Mm. By the way, can I just do a quick little like big brain thing and like, is it any particular kind of ritual? Like there were symbols and stuff on the on the stone. Uh, yeah, you could have a little think around. I'm not going to give you advantage because you guys kind of left already. But it's also not going to be fair. a super high DC because you have a fairly good understanding of what you were brought there for anyway. I hope. Nope, I'm too worried about <laughs> the sand burn on the body. <laughs> um, it Can I offer help? It Helping. You guys are trapped in conversation with one another anyway, so things would naturally uh, flow back towards what you've just witnessed. Yeah, and what was up with those arrows? I mean, usually they direct energy, so... Like, guessing, uh, it appears to be some kind of, like, focal point for energy exchange. So, I can't move my token. Oh, that, that whole thing again. Yeah. I can just drag just, a new one on. Yeah, just drag a new one on. Because this is a oh. slightly older map. Uh, so the change that I made to the others wasn't made. Uh, edit. I need ah. to change. Oh, yes. I didn't even think to add Providence. This tells you how old that map it is. In the grand scheme of things. Yeah, chance will just continue coming in, uh, moving towards like the center of location. Does he see anybody around or? Oh, yeah, just give me a second. Just making sure it's not fucking massive. <laughs> Uh, stumbling out of one of the huts uh, is the individual that ran at the very beginning of combat. Uh, and along with a small child. She has got her arms full uh, of various bags. Ha seem to be haphazardly packed. She looks at you and just everything drops and she hides the children behind her back. Gather everyone who remains here. And Chance continues to drag the body. Is this fire pit, uh, like, cold? Uh, it's warm but not lit. Would throwing the body on there reignite anything? Probably not. Mm -mm. Chance will just have the body lying beside it anyways. As he's just going to stand over it. Uh, Providence? Providence does not want to come back here, so she is sitting on the outside of the camp. Understandable. Little rock hermit. Eh. Yeah, there you go. Love that arrow. Thanks, Matt. Upon seeing this, Erezid will go and, and sit with Providence so that she is not lonely. Also to make sure that she doesn't run away or do any weird shit, because Erezid does not know this person very well. If Erezid were to do that, Ollie would go too. I'm going to approach the kids and try to calm them down. Um, I'm just going to do some like cool druid craft tricks for them, make some flowers bloom. 
the person that was caught uh, packing and attempting to flee is going to try to take the children like, with her as she goes to collect other people. Doesn't really seem to trust them around you. That makes Adra so upset that she doesn't say like, anything. <laughs> there's like, there's a body like right here. I get it, but there. I didn't drag it through the sand. <laughs> no, I, no and these are the bodies, bodies from before. Yeah. Of the people that we killed during the kerfuffle one. To be fair, we didn't start that fight. <laughs> um. I mean, everyone's got their own interpretations of what's happened. Solus. Wanting to search the hut? Yes. yes. He only went in there once and got kicked out pretty quickly, so wants to look inside. Just... Um, oh. There we go. So, Just while everyone for the most... Is, like, mat gathering. Yeah. So for the most part, first off, make sure that there's no one in here. That's hiding or anything. Sure. Uh, roll me a perception, please. I'm horrible to those, so that's just gonna go well. Oh, well. Yeah. Classic um, nihilism. It works every time, I mean. 60% <laughs> of the time. Uh, you Damn. at first don't appear to see anyone. Uh, but then quivering, hiding... Right in the corner over here, uh, you find a singular cultist. Uh, for, judging from their clothing and their certainty, they appear to be one of the lower level uh, cultists. Someone who's not particularly um, trusted or respected. Okay. After getting a good look around, realising that there's anyone here, um, takes his hand off his sword and just lets out a sigh, or just continue walking past. But he makes, it makes note of, like, he definitely has seen them, but he just continues on. Okay. And so now he's going to... Kind of go through everything, see what there is. Maybe if there's anything of value, whether it be actual value or maybe information or stuff like that. Uh, throughout your search, you will find like many uh, pieces of like fine cloth. Uh, there's a lot of silk, especially, uh, and a lot of like fine cotton, a lot of stuff with like woven gold thread throughout and these things range from like cloaks uh, to robes or dresses uh, scarves but then also like rugs and pillows there's a rug here of a creature that you don't recognize but maybe looks a little bit like Erin but like a really big like all brown version of Erin Okay. Um It's gonna really kind of I don't know if there's any background noise or something going past my window right now. Um But I'm just gonna kind of look around, get an idea of where it all is. Um, but not take any of it because if people are going to stay here, they they're obviously gonna to want to have these things. Um, but he's just going to keep notes and see if he can find anything else. If not, he'll just move on. Would you like to investigate the area further? I probably would, yes. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. There's a big chair. Yeah. 
in the space that used to have a magic focus on it. Hmm. Now you just see a small pile of dust. Gonna begin to walk on out. Just hands behind his head. As just gives a casual look to the guy cowering on the floor here. <laughs> just say... <sighs> Do you know if there's anything that could be useful around here at all? Um, uh, um, uh, um. In, yeah, the, in, in, in the in the ma master's chest. Hmm. Any idea what it could be? Uh, uh, scrolls, he said. S -s 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 hmm. Stolen. All right. Stolen kind of looks back into the room. Just to kind of see if we can pick up where the chest would be. That is the one on the far corner nearest uh, to where the leader used to sit. All right, it's kind of looks back to the guy here. All right, appreciate it. I'll have a look through. Hopefully, the thing explodes as he walks on back and. Tries to get open this thing, hoping that it doesn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> so you just straight up open it first? Um, I think you would look over it just a bit first. Okay. Uh, that will be, I think, another investigation check then. All right. Well, this one's going to go crap. So. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> All seems fine. Yeah, I'm giving it a once over. Um, despite the fact he's definitely feeling a bit more comfortable than he should be right now, he's just gonna pop it open and accept the consequences. Okay. Please roll me. Yes, all all famously good sentences begin like that. Uh, mm -hmm. What is it? A a constitution? No, a wisdom saving throw. Sorry. Oh, I'm good at those. See? Nice. <laughs> um, you see magic tendrils begin to creep up your fingers uh, from somewhere inside the drawer as you open it. And you're just like, uh, phew, phew, get off. And yeah, she just your fingers, pulls his hand up and slaps. Your fingers like begin to feel like a bit stiff, a bit paralysed. But you're able to weather it easily and then the magic seems to dissipate hmm well that could have been awkward all right let's see what there is as he pokes his head inside sees what there is true to the cowering man's words you find several spell scrolls some of which you recognize hmm they are in a I suppose you could say a language that you understand, oh. they appear to be paladin spell scrolls. Interesting. Uh, there is one uh, for find greater steed. <laughs> and another for death ward sitting on the top of the pile. Uh, further inside you find uh, many like ruined uh, seemingly attempts at creating spell scrolls uh, and they're all they all seem to be like control spells like uh, dominate monster dominate elemental mm. but none of them seem to be quite right they all seem to be spoilt or like singed in some way Well, he's going to take the two at the top of the pile. Um, though he makes sure to look around behind him just before he does to make sure nobody notices. Um, and uh, puts him in his pocket and then just takes the entire stack of ruined crap because he doesn't know if like, someone else could be used. This could be useful to someone else. If not, oh well, it's free, fight, it's free paper. So, <laughs> uh, As you pick all of them up, you notice that like 
you kind of scoop your hand into the pile and try and pick them all up and it's a lot heavier than you think that um a stack of paper would be and a small pouch falls out from inside one of the rolled up scrolls it jingles as it falls back into the drawer well then um kind of a little poke and just poke his nose in there see what there is uh there appears to be just over a hundred gold pieces inside actual gold pieces <laughs> right so considering the situation And considering how long Solus was previously broke, um, he's just going to take the entire thing and stuff it in his pocket. Fair enough. And hope nobody finds out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so grabs that, um, takes the two scrolls, puts them in his bag, and then just walks out the place with stacks of paper. Just gives a nod to this guy on the way out. Appreciate it. Is it... Is, 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 is it dead? Is, is it over? Hmm? Is, is oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no, Masaru's, like, dead, dead. As long as you're kind of a joke, like, to be fair. Like, died in, like, three hits. To whom? <clears throat> uh, Chance, uh, his son, I think. I must meet this chance. He's outside wandering around. Probably planning something stupid or maniacal. Or both. Uh, the Not out to a spot. Start like walking out towards the area with you. Anyone else doing anything in particular? No, just waiting on people to gather. That is my beautiful isometric rendition of tokenless human. I like these little guys. Eventually, June will return with two people that you have met in interesting circumstances before. They still seem quite wounded. Clarence Dagmar has finally left the hot hut. And overall, there's about 20, 25 people that collect around the campfire. Most of whom, are, like a good 90% of them are adults. Chance stands with like one foot on the corpse of Marasu. So he kind of looks around, gauging reaction. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of disbelief. There's also a fair amount of awe. Uh, Chance will use, like, his foot to kind of just, like, roll the corpse onto, like, the fire pit as he'll just look around. I believe you all know who I am, but for those who don't, I am Chance. Chance Conda. I was once part of this little family. 
many of you, many of familiar faces here. You looked down on me, shunned me. All because of the words of one man. I returned, seeking information on my past closure, as well as a potential to find information on a threat to the world as we know it. I come to learn that Marasu, my father, decided to make a deal with the proverbial devil in Azar Kul, the warlord aiming to destroy all of the lore. He inhabited this body that once belonged to my brother. And once he threw my companions into prison and we burned the relics of this warlord and everything, we all clashed, as you surely know. And some of you, we crossed blades. Eventually, you kidnapped a member of my friends. And I went and faced Marasu, the leader, whatever you want to call him. And I killed him with my own hands. Chance will then draw the sun's tear. I've wielded this sword. The one that he so desperately sought to complete whatever grand plan the bastard had. And now, he is dead and you are all without a leader. We have come to a crossroads. What do you plan to do next? You kind of look around, waiting for any response. Many of the heads seem to turn automatically to Palu, or as you may know him, Paladin Boy. He steps up towards you. Now quite Warhammerless, I believe. <laughs> The air and the spare. I do not know what this new direction of yours is, Master. But I will follow you wherever. He drops down onto one knee before you. Several others follow suit. Uh, some of you may see this character just kind of cringing and like ho holding her... Her eyes like behind her head, behind her hands, as she watches more than half of those surrounding dropping to their knees, worshipping you as if you are Marisu. Chance shakes his head. Do you really think that this is what I came to do? That I want to lead some cult that my father created? No. Perhaps once upon a time. But I left. I left and I grew. I no longer have the narrow-minded view that my father preached. I have traveled with people. Settled differences, learned. It is, there is more to life than just blindly following somebody. You can do good with your own two hands. 
So, I offer a proposition. For those who wish to aid in the defense of this realm against the invading tyrant Azar Kool, head to Grove, where we are mounting a resistance. For those who are non-combatants and wish to find peace, Onalembo to the northeast will shelter you. No longer do you bear the shackles of an oppressive leader. You are your own people. Decide your own path, as I have. Palu, in particular, still seems to be struggling to process what's going on. You've had many personality changes after your last ritual as well, Master. But if you command this, we shall obey. This isn't a personality change. This isn't any ritual. You will come to learn that. The person who you call Master is dead. And with that, Chance is going to point his sword towards the corpse, drawing a quick little rune and casting a firebolt to light the corpse ablaze. Yes. The old one must burn away so that the new shell survives. This is the way it has been. <sighs> It'll take time. Andre kind of will come up at that and just whisper to Chance, you tried. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Does any... Is there any issue with anybody heading to where they must go? There is silence. Uh, at this point... Uh, the other warrior, Cyrus. His name is... will speak up. We have been trained all our life for this. Don't you remember? We will find our way. Very well. Once you reach Grove, I presume that the two of you will be leading the ones heading to Grove then? Absolutely. You. Once you arrive there, uh, you will seek out one flat called Sophia. You will tell her that I have sent you. That I, Chance, have sent you to aid in the defense of the city. She'll be able to ensure that whoever it goes is put to good use in Preparations for the defense. What does she look like? How will we find her? Um, you can just ask for her at the gate. She's a little bit taller than me. Blonde, fair. Wears a white dress. Very well. We will do as you say, Master. And you, June, lead the rest of them to Honor Lembo. And the paladin begins to strut away. Do you I need, like, directions? Or, okay. I say, do, do the rest, like, the ones who are combatants and everything follow? Yep. Uh, in okay. total, like, about 60% of the people that were there begin to follow Palu. So that makes about, uh, let's say, let's give it around 18, so including Cyrus and Palu, that is 20 people total. Mm. Chance will turn, sheathing his sword, and approach this June woman. I 
apologies. It seems that they're still stuck. Yes. Some people do not wish to know the truth. I did not either for a very long time. Not until last month, really. What changed? It's your... I was shown that it was possible to leave. In fact, um... Uh, have, have, have you encountered, uh... You've encountered Providence, but, but have you encountered Ferris? He is lost out there now. Mm. Both friends. Maybe I should say my own goodbyes to Providence before we leave. Mm. Okay. Uh, do you need directions to get to Onalembo? Any food or anything like that? No. When that beast came through a few years ago, and seemed to bring back our uh, leader. He came from Monolembo. He told us much about the city. We know where it is. Those who dare mm. to listen. Very well. Once you reach there, um, seek out a woman named Osaka. She'll be able to provide assistance and shelter and such. She's one of the leaders of the city. Will do. Thank you all. It is a way. It won't be from. Uh, it is a way from the fighting and not a planned target of the attack. Should the South fall, they will likely be able to evacuate and such before Cool's forces reach there. I am quite new to existing um, outside of. Uh, well, this quite inclusive uh, intrusive family um Mackis protect you is that how people say goodbye outside of this world chance shrugs he'll turn and just kind of like like do the like backhanded wave see you around you notice that uh, June seems to be like more looking at Solus with the last part of that statement. Uh, she was there to learn Solus's heritage, after all. Mm. Mm. Do you, uh, this woman here, June, seems to be looking at you in a fascination. Oh, um... Sorry, I didn't catch the question. Um, what is it exactly? All our lives, we have been taught about the importance and the villainy of Mechis. She is your mother. Um, is she quite well known outside? Outside of this this group. Certainly. Um, I remember going to a temple dedicated to her forever in Jaras. Um, though that's the only thing I personally remember. Um, I don't really know her much as a person, I will be honest, but... I am her son and I know that much. Is she as bad as everything says she is? Well, the few times I've come face to face with her, she doesn't seem all too bad. Much to learn. Well, I mean, if you stick to your closed circles, you're bound to not learn much about the world outside. As a person who wandered for most of my life, you learn that pretty quickly. Me and my questions. Uh, I 
Bill, excuse me. Of course. I believe I have someone else to talk to. And her and one of the children go in this direction. Uh, the others will go back into their tents. Most of them seem to go into this larger tent here. The one that uh, Pex famously fell out of the sky over. Upon seeing this approaching person, Ares, it is going to be like, oh, um, I'm going to give you guys some space. Bye! Do, do you need healing? Like... Healing? Uh, actually, that would be pretty nice. I will... Yeah, Providence knows you probably don't want to be touched by a random person. So I will cast Cure Wounds at 5th level, and I'll spend the Sorcery Point to give it a distance of 30 feet. So I don't have to touch you to do it. That's so nice. <laughs> da -da. You know what? I will spend my last sorcery point. Because I can do this with healing spells. I will re-roll that three and that two. Nice. Yeah, sure. If so there's any better. time to do this stuff, it's probably just before you take a long rest. Yeah, so that is 32 healing to Arazi. Oh, well, I feel great now. Well... I mean, I'm not going to lie. It probably doesn't feel great because you feel your blood cool and your bones break and then reform. Doesn't sound like anything. Uh, it's so minty hot, fresh. <laughs> 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 Minty fresh bones. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna go walk this off. Thank you, though. Okay. Or is it such a little goober? Yeah. <laughs> little guy. Uh, and as Arazid and a of course, then Ollie uh, disappear back towards the campfire. Uh, someone that Providence knows very well, having also grown up a lot around her. Uh, you two had a lot of dis discussions about the philosophy of staying in this cult. But when time came to disappear, like yourself and Ferris did, uh, she did not turn up. She approaches you nervously. It's a faint smile. Do I know who the kid is? Because she did say that, uh, mm. was it June walked up with a kid? Yeah, it's June is in the month. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I just realised there's a character called Dune. Like the sand film. Uh, also in the game, uh, but that's related to Silas's backstory. And it is also a half-cat woman. What the hell is going on in your backstory? <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't even know half of it, literally, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, we like... The kid is June's sister. April. Aww. I didn't expect to be back here. Oh, hello, little one. I'll, I'll use dancing lights and make... Uh, I don't know. Like a lizard in dancing lights. Because I imagine that's pretty common. And it'll just go and sit on April's like, hand or shoulder. Kids like swarms of things, right? Uh... It's like four lights that can merge into one thing. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, yeah, June is uh, April's gonna be quite distracted and just like be watching the dancing light lizard and just be like, "Oh, that's so cool!" Oh yeah, it, it, da, 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 it's da, a razor R R G B lizard. <laughs> Didn't expect you to come back. Well, I'm shit at reading maps. 
and Ferris took the map, so... Where the hell are they? I don't know, we split. I hope they are well. I... Uh, I, I hope so as well. Doesn't have a damn bit of common sense, but... By God, I love it. Mm. I, I figured that Marisu would be after me more than he would Ferris, so... At least one of us deserved a fighting chance, and I ended up doing a full circle. I suppose that's one way of uh, making sure they're too distracted to go after Ferris. And well, trust me, they were organising to do that. Pex has barely been on the ground since you left. <laughs> well, I suppose Good. he's permanently in the ground now. His corpse is like literally right over here. <laughs> Yeah. I was tempted to do that a few times. I reckon I could have killed him. But... Eh. Yeah. You... I'm sorry for not coming with you. Maybe if I had... No, I... You wouldn't be back here. Maybe Ferris wouldn't be lost. Maybe... Uh... Maybe... Maybe... Uh, enough maybes. Like, look... I, I can't hold it against you. You have your sister to take care of. I... Well, you know. I only had Ferris. And you. But I can't hold it against you. Do you need anything? Travel? We should be okay. There's a whole camp to steal from now, eh? What was once for 60 oh, yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. You'll do fine. I just saw you over here and I, I, I just wanted to say it. Not a farewell. Not a final one, not again. But a good luck out there. Yeah, I've got a lot of sins to put right. Love you both. I'm gonna protect April and the other kids. Take them to that northern yeah. town. Yeah. And do what yeah. we can. They'll do fine. I mean, I'm gonna be the cool friend of the of you know like your your siblings' cool friend, and I'm just gonna hand the kid a dagger. Just, just in case, you know. I can mark off one of my five daggers. <laughs> April's gotta be eyes uh, widen in a very core, cool, Mister. Thanks, kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> just listen to your sister when you use that. I'm not being responsible for. It. will do, I promise. Thank you, Danny. She's never been able to pronounce oh. your name properly. I, th I think Providence just lets her call her whatever. <laughs> yeah, she's like six. Give them both a hug. Yeah, yeah, no, that's completely fair. They both get a hug. The kid gets more of a confident hug because, mm. I don't know, kids are simple. As June gets the kind of hesitant one, but I think June knows for a fact Providence, as far as she's concerned, feels that if she gets close to anyone, they get hurt. So a hug is not a small thing. Uh being graced with one of your rare hugs June will embrace it wholeheartedly uh, and like one of her hands one of her arms will like wrap around and up your back and like her head's just like her hand is resting on your head and she just gives you a couple of head pats
Yeah. Just accepts it. What the fuck is that? It's the beauty of this <laughs> memory. I... <laughs> I... What makes it worse is the last one just looks like it's your decapitated head on a desk. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best I could do, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm not disagreeing with it. I'm just saying, like... I was intending Providence to be, like, messed up nightmares. No, 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 that that's done it for me. I mean, I've been worse. I... Considering how well I know you, yeah, I don't doubt that for two seconds. After, um... You and June untangle yourselves from one another, she she will give you a small ampule. It, don't worry, it's not that mushroom shit. If you're ever in oh, thank danger, God. When I s take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, when I saw that druid throw it up in the air and fucking ignite it, I was... I'm not gonna lie, I had a mild panic. It's fine. Thank you. What is inside is a small amount of a like a light golden liquid. Ah. See you later. The limited edition Mountain Dew. <laughs> yep. I love it. Bye. And uh, she gives you like one awkward I have wave. All... Yeah. When they're not looking, I will use them. Bye! Uh, when they're not looking, I will use my last sorcery point to cast Guidance on June using the subtle spell Guidance. So they don't know I've given. <laughs> and I will just sit there on the, on the rock still. And uh, after that, June will go into the hut and settle down for a good night's sleep. <laughs> so, uh, who wants to sit around the, the burning corpse? I do, I do. Audra will not leave Chance aside if someone tries to drag her away. Like. <laughs> Do we have marshmallows? <laughs> Do we? They're not going to taste good from the flames of a burning, decaying corpse. Okay. No, but I can, like, I don't produce know flame what marshmallows them. are anyway. I read in a book Does once this that planet even have the, have the have the agricultural capacity to even produce sugar? Grove does. <laughs> <laughs> Chance will, look body. Oh, chance will look across the way at the Dagmar and a bit further away at Henry and kind of motion for them. Clarence is giving Henry a lot of not very well veiled uh, angry side eyes. Yes. Look, I'm not mad that you didn't invite me to your wedding. Look, I don't give a brat's ass what the two of you are going to start fighting about. <laughs> it's not my fault I got kidnapped by a cult. It's not my fault but that I got kidnapped by the cult either. <laughs> but the two of you need to shut the hell up for How a minute. How about we amend our relationships and form a healthy... Oh, this be like a brother, not brother-in-law. Look, what are the two of you going to do? You're going back to Naglemund. Do but something. I'm going back to Naglemund. I am too. I'm... Naglemund is more than big <laughs> enough for both of you. But is it? With Henry's ego, I don't think it is. Henry is staring daggers at you for that. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Move myself a little bit more like, I'm just gonna... 
no. think I'm just gonna get in the way a little bit, <laughs> I think. You said wands in Jurass? Virgil, Juan, whatever the hell you want to call him, he's in Jurass currently. Are you asking Henry? Asking Henry, yes. He would. I he think would, the answer is uh, yes. Know that, yeah. Yes. It's where he left him. All right. Chance will get up, walk towards Henry. He's gonna reach into his bag. <laughs> and he's going to give a shit-eating grin. Oh, by the way, I found some things that um, are yours. I think you might enjoy them. <laughs> and he's gonna pull out yes! nine pages of paper. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> and he is going to hand him his childhood drawings of killing the Gressingmans. <laughs> Don't worry, they're dead. We already took care of them. How would Henry react? He seems rather emotionally repressed. <laughs> Probably not well. <laughs> I'm gonna say, I've been carrying those for way too long, just for this moment of here's your childhood drawings. <laughs> Interesting. Think about what I do with these. I'll take them and throw them into the fire. I mean, the cross hatching was okay, but <laughs> you say a lot of words and I don't know what they mean. Is that a farming wow. term? No, it's it's for drawing. Oh, okay. Well, good luck. Hopefully, you don't get jumped by some scorpion and killed in the middle of the desert. If you do, nobody will mourn you, and then chance is going to look towards. Uh, Towards the Dagmar fellow. Clarence. Good old Clarence. Uh, do you need any help getting anywhere? Anywhere he's not going. I want to come with us for a bit. I'm going to say, you can either, or you could stick around and head with the, uh, with June and the others going to Onalembo for or safety away. Or we could take back to Aegis. Hmm. You know what? Uh, there, there's that. I'm going to go see what Grove is like. He wants to come well, muscle in on my city, I'm going to come muscle in on his. Oh, it's not his city. It Grove it's is a free quite city. Nice. A, a, a what? Those exist? Well, shit, sign me the fuck up, buddy boy. I'm definitely going to Grove. Look. We we killed the tyrant leaders and the Gressingmans and decided that the best course of action after killing a monazid's dragon form um after trying after it and tried to stall another leader is to just let the people decide who they want to rule. So that's currently the, the fun situation down there. It's going really well so far. Everyone's like working together and happy. It's also been like three days. <laughs> yeah, but if, if it is on fire when you get down there, just uh, I don't know, find a way to let us know or something. Just, just you know. I mean, grab a bucket if the place is on fire. I could do that. Let's make it a, a nice blackjack. I'll make it twenty-one. And head back down to Grove. Very well. Are we sure we should be letting him walk down there alone? I'm not alone. I've got 20 of my closest jailers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know if I would consider that better than alone, but it's at least safer than alone. Theoretically. Theoretically. 
Well, if they try any shit, just tell them that I said that you're allowed to go with them. They seem stupid enough to believe it. Clarence spits out the toothpick that he has somehow found and has been chewing on for a little while. Oh, that's sanitary. From the... From the sand to the sand. You got that out of the sand and you put it in your mouth? Mm. I'm quite a gritty person. Alrighty, well, good luck. We'll see you around then. Well, it doesn't seem like we're moving off quite now. It being the middle of the goddamn night and all that, but... Uh... I don't know how long we're sticking around here in the morning and everything, so... Grand. Well, he gives you two, uh, he gives you all two finger guns. Well, see you around, try not to die. Alright, back at you. And if you see Vang before I do, tell her to stop making so many goddamn awful decisions. I, I, I'll keep that in mind. I'll probably use less profanity, but I'll, 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 I'll write that down. I didn't say nothing profane, darling. Well, you oh, well, you, I guess. I mean, it's not that bad, but it was, it was still, I don't know. I feel like if, if I talked to my sister like that, she'd cry, and then I'd cry. Yeah, but you seem like the crying type, no offense. None taken whatsoever. <laughs> It's okay if you take offense. It sounds like maybe you did. <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Side hug. <laughs> anyway. Got roads to make. People to shit on. Please don't do that. I think he can if he wants. I think he's allowed. If he has the consent of the other person, maybe. It's called a metaphor, darling. I know what a metaphor is! Yeah? Give me one then. You are like a cactus. It's a simile. <laughs> You're a cactus! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Soft and delicious on the inside. A prick. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Don't die, alright? I was gonna do that anyways! Yo. Oh, try and do it super hard for me, Sha. And he's gonna start walking away now. He's too cool for this conversation. <laughs> the guy was so weird! Oh, a lot has happened. I'm Long tired. Day. What time is it? <laughs> um, it is an hour that should be illegal for people to be awake in if they've been up since the early hours. So it's like 3am? <laughs> yeah, it's well, I'd say more like 2, but yeah. Just going to full body slump against Arizon. <laughs> Essentially, yeah, Arizon little... will support with as much muster as he can. A long rest now would put you to just before midday. Is it safe to sleep yet? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think so. Do you, well, do, are we just gonna lay down on the ground? I can just lay down on the ground and Otter will start laying down on the ground. Aaron said, we'll lay down also on the ground. And he will say, well, I mean, one cult down, one to go, am I right? <laughs> uh, bad joke. Uh, Chance makes his way out to where Providence is. I mean, yeah, they're, they're sitting down. They're kind of just waiting. He'll look towards Providence, a hand firmly on just there I guess hand more resting 
on the hilt of his sword, the other kind of on, just kind of at his side. So. How close do you get? <laughs> He'd get within 30 feet. Okay, that's fine. What are your plans? Don't know. I have a lot of things I need to put right. You can handle yourself well. Well, you kind of have to, don't you? Mm hmm I'll make you an offer. Would you like to perhaps travel with us? We're trying to make things right, put the sun back in the sky. Stop a invading warlord from destroying civilization as we know it. What the hobgoblin looking ass, dragon looking ass, Azar called? Yep. That one? That's the bastard. That right. Yeah, I met him. Awful bastard. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and it's putting the sun back up in place would do. One good thing. Yeah, it's a really good thing. I'm gonna say from what I've learned from the others, it would likely restore the world to how it used to be. Hmm. Sure. I suppose if we're making this offer, you're making an offer. It's only fair that I say what I'd like in return. Mm, that's fair. It kind of like comes up close to you. It's not trying to be aggressive, no magic, no nothing. <clears throat> Basically gets within the handshaking distance. I frankly don't care whether or not you hate me or not, whether anyone else hates me or not. I have done horrible things in your father's name. There are lives that will not be and stories that will not be told because I was your father's weapon. Now, it's going to take me time, but I will be open and honest as best as I can be. In return, you'd never take my free will from me or my freedoms, because if you do that, I will take your spine and I will pull it out from your mouth in front of, I'm going to guess, your partner, the druid. Chance would not. Why did you just refer to yourself in the third person? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> But as long as you let me keep my free will, you should be alright. I've done horrendous things myself. Killed people for a living. Killed people who... Hell, just because they had something I wanted. Well, see, you got a choice in who you... ended. I didn't. Chance will shrug enough slightly. Of, enough of the sad shit. Oh. Oh, I'll, oh, don't worry, but... I don't intend to do anything. But the moment you harm a hair on any of those that I travel with, your life is forfeit. Well, I mean... By definition, that already happened. I kind of blew Solus up and then brought him back. Oh, well, that's before we made this deal. But if you actively attempt to kill them... Oh. Yeah, that's fair. ...and turn against us, I will have no hesitation of removing your head from your shoulders. Yeah, someone tried that before. Doesn't come off easy. No, I mean, 
You've, you've got nothing to worry about, Chance. I literally have no one else. Very well. Seems we both can benefit from this. Um, I'd recommend getting to know the others and everything. They were able to break me out of my shell and... Oh, get me I... to see the I good in the world shell. and accept. Oh. That's fair. I meant... Who was it? About yay high. Just... It's it's Arisid. No, hmm. is it? Yeah, it is Arisid. That person was really nice. No, yeah. he's well. I guess specifically my first friend. Oh, that's nice. You need healing. I've got a bit more. Oh no, I. I'm fine. Cool. Right. Well, we'll be heading out after we rest and everything. As I said, more than welcome to come with us. Yeah, I need I need to right some wrongs, get some answers, and uh, I don't know, not die in the process. <clears throat> All right. Chance will return, and I think we're all good then to settle down for the long rest. Sounds that way to me. It's long rest time. Uh, yeah, I'll say Android. Or is it already on the pile near the fire? <laughs> Spell slots. Those are nice. I have to panic prepare all my spells. <laughs> Reminders the people That's who got AIDS, spell. you no longer do. Yep. Long rest time, long rest time. Man, I've been rolling woe for like eight days in a row now. <laughs> I get four hot chalkies. No way. <laughs> All right. Uh, hooray, we long rested. Yep. Uh, it is now... Uh, it would be then... Like, late often... Late, late morning, sorry. <clears throat> um... Where next? Yeah, that's the that's the question. Yeah, sitting around the as we gonna get up and everything, Chance will look to the group. Um What are we doing next? Cause our plans will have changed given and then he'll just motion towards Henry. Circumstances. No, no. Nope. It's fine. I'll go home. I'll just pick up his stuff and start walking back. <laughs> Is he going to Jurass, where he left off, or to Naglamund? To be like Naglamund. Okay. Is he gonna because... send word to the troops that are in Jurassville? Yes, he will. Okay. 
talk about that. Uh, hey. Yes. We're probably going to Jurass if I had to guess is our next stop. Yeah, I'm I mean that's that's going you know, to be Virgil's seeking there, out. Quinn's yeah. potentially still there. I'm gonna be seeking out Virgil to speak about things. Is there any message you want me to pass along? No, not no message. All right, then. Don't die. Okay. Head on his way. Summon. As he's walking, he'll summon a spectral steed. He'll ride away. Sounds like him. All right. So, dress them? Yeah, I, I mean, are we, like, are we, like, like walking? Do you guys want to go as, like, birds? Because I don't see any, like, significant plant life in this area. I mean, we could probably look for a big cactus. Unfortunately, oh, Clarence okay. has left. Yeah, unfortunate. So, have you even seen the big tree and yeah I tried on it I tried on it a long time ago yeah because we were planning on going potentially a long while back so (laughs) so we just need to wander around until we find a big cactus too bad I didn't prepare locate animals or plants because I could have helped with this (laughs) but is that the plan we'll just start heading towards I suppose we can just walk Towards it, and if we run oh! into a big cactus, then... Locate animal or plants is actually a ritual. So I'm going to ritually cast locate animals or plants, and I'm going to look for cacti. <laughs> I was going to suggest that you guys cast uh, Speak with Plants and then just shout out, Cactus! <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like talking to cacti. They're kind of mean. I can do that, though. I can I can speak cacti, I think. Uh, you don't find any giant cacti, but to the s- like within this radius at least, but to the southeast of the camp, which would be like the due south of that plateau you were on yesterday at night, or this morning, uh, you find a rocky outcrop, and hidden underneath is a series of large mushrooms growing from the bottom of the rock itself. Can I ritually cast Detect Poison and Disease before we go into the mushroom cave? <laughs> it's not a cave per se, it's just like... Like, imagine like... They're growing a... off the side of this rock. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I can cast it on these mushrooms, but nobody inhale near them or touch them. But I know mushrooms are yummy. Ollie always makes a mushroom waffle for me. Like, they are, like, significantly big. Like, a couple of them are, like, a little bit bigger than Arizid. You know that, that some plants can be, like, poisonous or, like, hallucinogenics, right? Remember the yeah. plants? Yeah, remember the plants on the island that kind of hurt you if you breathe them in? Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know mushrooms could also be like that. Mushrooms are actually, besides like hemlock, is one of the the plants that are like commonly like that. (laughs) Apparently they're closer to humans than they are to plants. Yeah, they're really, they're interesting life forms. Well, we have a destination, we have a way to dress. I believe that's the best next move. Get there, gather information on from Virgil, try and find Quinn and everything, and see the current situation before we make plans if we're going to try and get the water orb or not. Yeah, 
yeah, I mean, I feel like that's next steps. So, should I figure out how to make cast a spell? Do we want to wait for something? You guys are planning to sneak into Jurass by teleporting directly into Sklad's palace? <laughs> Sounds about right, yeah. It's yeah. a great idea. You know what? Okay. Transport via plants is not concentration, so I could cast Pass Without Trace on us before we go. <laughs> I have got so many questions. Is traveling via plants common? What are we doing? Uh, Why are we? Doing oh, okay. This? So you know how there was like like that magical portal that we took that took us to that ritual site yesterday. Yes. Earlier this morning. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I can create a portal like that. I can bridge any distance on this plane between two different plants of us that are of significant size. I'm not going to lie. That sounds pretty shit, considering most of the world is a desert. My options are limited. <laughs> Chances just kind of like nod a bit. Yeah, it does limit us to, to some locations, but typically major settlements have like one plant at least they have within it that we can go to. Right. Okay. And why are we going there? Um, to revive the second sun, we have two pieces left that we need for sure. We need the um water orb. It the here, here. Uh, and Chance will just kind of look to Ollie. Can you take out an orb? Uh, of course. Uh, Let me just reach into my sack. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh, ah. Ah, okay. Are you gonna pile stuff on me again? No, no, I found the orb. I found the eye. Look, ooh, and she holds it up to, like, her face, pretending it's one of her eyes. So those are the elemental orbs. We possess three of them. There are four in total, representing earth, air, fire, and water. Uh, the one that represents water is currently in the possession of the leader of Jer the god sorceress of Jaras, uh, Sklod. Uh, we killed her before, but she has this weird thing called a phylactery. That yeah. brought her back to life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, long story short, not actually a god, just a lich. Right. You lot are fucking weird. Thank you. Look, sure. I didn't think people could come back from the dead either, but magic is a wild fucking thing. Yeah. It really is. So, uh, we have allies and people that we know in Jurass. We don't know how it might have changed since we were last there, but actually, do you think it'd be a better idea of transporting to the the big um, what who is it? The plateau with the um connection to the blood realm that didn't have a plant near it did it over here no it was just a rocket plateau from what i remember yeah yeah no uh, no like big enough plants yeah also Seems after the whole know. blood pack thing i think it would be a challenge to get some of us to go in there <laughs> mm, chance will kind of like rub his chin but well we either have the option of the plant or we can go through the blood realm and enter through the bottom of the tav or the basement of the tavern, so long as it's still, you know, a thing. Because Glad knew that we were in there and somehow escaped, so I wouldn't be surprised if Glad just destroyed it. Ah, eh, the plane's probably the safest bet. Um, I can use my magic to turn the wall into a passageway or a door or something um, so we're able to get out once that we get there okay if this is what we're doing I'll cast pass without trace and then I will cast uh, transfer via plants oh. is there any objections to the plan none oh. whatsoever oh. I mean yeah but I don't think I get a vote here <laughs> <laughs> I 
I am not DMPCing Ollie that much. Yeah. Uh, does any players? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Ollie can also, until we get there, just go off to uh, find her friends. Yeah. Also, that's like, not everybody has to go through about. the portal. You know, it's individual choice. I'm not going to shove anybody through. <laughs> mm. Uh, so does anybody have any issues with our course of action of going to Jurassic and scoping it out? I'm scared, but I'll go. I mean, I feel like it's the best choice for now, so... Both myself and Providence are too confused to argue against this. Mm. Inqua? I've got no objections. Alright then, we've decided. Uh, so we're we're doing the thing. We're going to pass without trace, and then and then transport via some plants right into the center of Jurass. Plus ten to self though. Everyone, just be really quiet. <laughs> well, that is going to be a fun place to pick up after the break. Uh huh. I am desperately in need of coffee. I feel myself. <laughs> Crashing. Mm. I am also going to get coffee 2.0 because that's just smart. <laughs> I am going to go get some cold brew that I made. Gorge. Um, Imagine being able to drink caffeine. Mm. I'll see you guys <laughs> at 5 past the hour. Yeah. Right. So, you cast transport via plants on the big mushroom. Uh, yep. For a second, the rift opens, and then before you are even able to take a heartbeat, you see it close. Excuse me? The spell appears to have failed. Technically, mushrooms aren't plants. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're focusing on? Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm focusing on. They are nowhere near plants, they do not photosynthesize. I mean... They have no, very few of the characteristics of plants. <laughs> what Champs the actual fuck? A bit shocked. <laughs> uh, it's only been. What, what's 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 today? Technically, it's like midday. Uh, six. It's the sixth, which is day five, I believe. That's correct. So according to the map, they should. I mean. The Azarkul's forces should be getting to own today, if not for the bridge destruction, so that could delay them a bit. But did what has Glod done? Could have been dispelled. Could have been. I don't think they can counterspell if they can't see me, but it could have been dispelled. That's a possibility. Uh, I guess we just have to go on foot then. There's no other options. Could it be because this, the tree is destroyed? No, it wouldn't have opened at all. Well, the spell failed. Ren, to confirm, if the portal opened for a moment, like half second, we can see through it and then it disappeared. It was more flavor. The spell failed. Okay. Like, I guess we could fly there. That is an option, but if the city's on fire and burning or anything like that, I think we might need some spells. And I yeah. just used my biggest one on a failure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I could probably save a few, perhaps, but... And to say, we'd be putting Audra at a disadvantage more than anything you're the one who would need to use your spells. Mm -hmm. You um, estimate that it would take about two to three days to walk to Jurass from where you are. I say it's either that or walking. Uh, how, much, would... how long would it take to fly? Uh, ordinarily about a day, but the day's about half over already. Uh, so it might take longer, depending on if you're willing to 
attempt to fly at night. I don't even have the spell slots to, to get there. <laughs> I have, like, maybe five hours of flight worth of spell slots for all of us, so that's not going to work. I mean, again, I can probably help at least myself and another person if that means anything. What do you mean by help? Uh, well, I picked up a thing back in the camp. Um, essentially allows me to summon a thing that uh, can probably carry two of us at least. Okay, and I can carry at least one person. What is it? Oh, um, hold on. Roots around the bag and pulls out uh, the scroll. That's for find greater steed. Um, I found it uh, in the chest in the main hut. I see. Well, uh, so you can lasts... you look over it. Find and... greater steed lasts forever until yeah. death, I believe. Yeah, until Unless... like death or dispelled. Which I'm not going to yeah. do that, so. <laughs> I'm going to look at it. I can't copy this. Uh, there's a potential uh, of me putting it into my own ways and everything and casting it myself, but I, no, this is not one that I can. I guessed as much. Um, oh, uh, it also reminds me, I picked up a lot of um, failed scrolls back in the camp as well. Um, I'm not, not sure if you'd be able to do anything with them, but it might be uh, worthwhile. Potentially. Yeah, maybe. Good. Uh, right. could... Okay. With the failed scrolls and everything, they would need to use magical ink, correct? Yeah. Could I potentially, like, scrape it off and make, like, re reuse that magical ink? It's not a process you've ever heard of before, so you're uncertain of if it would work, but it's certainly worth a go. Hmm. Or could the, the failed spell scrolls and everything be considered arcane supply? Uh, they'd be in the current state they'd be too ruined to be of any proper use to you okay uh, I might be able to get the ink from them I could at least try and use it for something I don't think anything any other use could be of anything well um worth a try How many are there, Ren? There are... Ten. Alright, I will add those to my inventory. I will take them and attempt to, uh... to do something with them later. Okay. Um... <sighs> okay, so I can turn into a giant eagle and, like, stay that way for, like... Six hours, I think? I think it's a half my druid level. <laughs> So I can do that twice, and then we can get there. That way I can take, like, two to three people, maybe? Maybe some of the smaller people? <laughs> I mean, Solus can summon something that can carry people? Oh, well, if you can carry three of... Oh, let's just figure out. Because that would end up being... We would need to probably find a way for myself, Inqua, and Solus to keep relative pace. I mean, you you can keep pace with your boots, right? How long can those go? Uh, I can only fly with them for four hours, but I can only move as fast as I can go. It doesn't give me any extra speed. I mean, I can always use... No. Besides, I don't even have that spell prepared. Ooh, actually, I prepared Summon Draconic Spirit, so I could also, and I can concentrate on spells while I'm in wild shape. Uh, but it only lasts an hour, so never mind. Perhaps the best course of action is just to walk as far as we can and 
pick up in the morning to fly the rest of the way? Mm -hmm. That might be worthwhile. Yay, I love walking on my human legs. I mean, if you want a piggyback ride. Really? I don't see why not. Okay, I'll do a little piggyback on chance. <laughs> and we're walking, I guess. <laughs> we're, we're gonna walk as far as we can until nightfall uh, towards Jurassic, then. At a fast pace, I assume. Better. Decent pace, yeah. Having already walked a fair distance to get to the mushroom cave, um, it makes it around like one p.m. when you decide to like start he uh, setting off on your feet. So it gives you about eight hours of solid walking, in which time you're able to cross two hexes almost. Mm. We set up for the night. Also, uh, one thing. Oh, uh, go ahead. One thing I will point out, um, as they start like getting ready to walk off, Solus will let out a whistle, as uh, they make it as the group makes it clear they're not going to be going into any intentional fights soon. As a large, um, almost uh, like a sort of reddish. Um, turned horse emerges from outside a portal as he's going to use his own fine steed but he's just going to keep pace with the rest of the group and some of the war horse just a regular steed yeah just so he doesn't have to use his own legs and also for someone else if they want to rest Uh, I think... Well, what do I have? It's... It's looking at. It's a shame that isn't on the Sorcerer or Cleric spell list. I'd love to twin cast Fine Steed, just horse. <laughs> <laughs> if you take enough levels in Lower Bard, you can grab it. <laughs> it's horse in time. <laughs> I, f I feel like a bard Subtle would definitely do that at some point. You know, just like, try to seduce some random noble man or woman. I ca headcanon all bards as bisexual until proven otherwise. Um, I'm just being like, not even wild steeds could tear me away from you. And then summoning a couple of those. <laughs> Alright. So we make camp. <clears throat> Sounds like the plan. Uh, I would like to do spell making stuff. So I'm going to. Can I destroy a magic item per attempt? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, let me open up for those cantrips that I have, because I have a shit ton of stuff. Can I uh, buy does... some magical supplies off chance? <laughs> <laughs> you can have some magical supplies from chance. What is everyone else uh, up to? How much do you need, Audra? Uh, I mean, I don't want to be too I'm greedy, sorry. so just whatever you feel comfortable sharing. I have 35 that I still just kind of am holding on to, so how much do you need for today? Um, let me look at the at the chart again of how much you need for today. Okay, uh, for, uh, I would love seven if you can spare. That's not going to be too yeah. much. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go down to 26, give you seven, I'll use two. Uh, so I go 26 arcane supplies, and I'm going to sacrifice two common items, one per spell. Okay. What are those? <laughs> uh, it's the 
rope of mending and dark shard amulet that I had. What are we gonna do without the rope of mending? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ollie! It, it's just a regular rope. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna sacrifice my candle of the deep towards a uh, shooting star. God. Uh, so these are common magic items, so it increases mine by 10% per. So I have a 21% chance in, for each to be created. I'll roll for them in order. Uh, so mind slash first. Uh, that is created. And then... Nice. Uh, Frostbitten Blade doesn't, so it goes up 1% to 22. Uh, and I will mark off that Mind Slash is created and, s oh. and start adding this in. Oh my gosh, you rolled 100%. Amazing. Okay, I will also start with my cantrip. Nope. <laughs> uh, and then Starry Sky. Sorry, Shooting Star. Oh, I think that does it! Because I sacrificed the thing, that's up to 36%, so that's... Yeah! Anything above a 60-something. So that's a spell. <laughs> you sacrificed your, um... My Candle of the Deep for a shooting star. Which is a common item. Yep, which gives me 10%. Yeah. Um... And I already had... You have the, the thing for it, but I had already okay. sacrificed the Breach of Fire Resistance for that one also. Um, yeah, so yeah, you the camp. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sorry. Okay, and Celis? So, as the camera's being made, Dismiss horse, it poofs into light and fire and all that cool stuff. Um, and looking around, seeing people starting to make their own magic and spells and stuff. Um, I think Solus would like to give it a try. <laughs> Assuming the spell I showed you the other week is all good. <laughs> Uh, do I have it pinned? We don't have it pinned. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, Flame of Life. Yeah. I have changed a little bit. Okay, can you um, link me the latest version real quick? Yeah, because... Um, like, from the image, there have been a few changes, but there you go. So it's only, like, minor changes. Hmm. Uh, is it based on something? Sorry. Hmm? Is, is it based on like a, a comparable spell, except for the two listed below? It's it's meant to be like halfway between um, life transference and uh, mass healing word. Which life transference is a fourth level, I believe. I can't quite remember. I think actually, oh, they're both third level? I can't quite remember. Uh, life um, transference is a third level spell, but it is an action. Yeah, a and the mass, mass healing word is bonus action. Mm. But it's one also four. third level. Yes. I would say like maybe that would be bumping up to level four, though, because of the okay. amount of uh, healing it would do plus the time uh, casting but apart from that I have no issue with the spell okay um actually on second thought because you're taking damage as well I think that kind of counteracts a lot of the yeah. effects yeah I think three is appropriate on yeah. second thought so there's also the fact it's very limited range as well yeah yeah I, yeah thumbs up then cool in that case I will make a roll. I will also 
in the process be sacrificing my Helldowner cloak, because I'm not using that. Um, no more dog Nio. Unfortunately, no. Okay, I'll delete the token that hasn't ever been used. It was used oh, once. No. Oh. <laughs> I that. Um, so okay. that is, I believe, a 30% chance. That space is 5, and then plus 25, because it's a rare item. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I believe you're right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, do I want, like, is it 100 minus the percentage, or? Yeah, yeah you want to roll high. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even need to sacrifice the item. <laughs> you're born in flame, and from flame you will, uh, continue. So I like to imagine that all three spells go off at once. <laughs> I hope no one's like looking for you guys around this area, otherwise you just uh uh forecasted your position pretty well. So yeah. Um just to clarify the item is still consumed even though I wouldn't have needed it. <laughs> yeah. Because you choose to consume it before you roll, so Yeah, yeah that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Just need to double check. So that mm. is deleted. Uh, both from there and... I mean, you keep the, the cloak, you just eat the magic out of it. Yeah, it's still a cloak. It's okay. just, it's not magical anymore. <laughs> not that I feel like Solus has any tie to the cloak, magic or non-magic. Mm -hmm. It's a weird black cloak, of course not. <laughs> I think it's got, I think, if I remember correctly, it's got dog ears, though, so that's cool. Yeah, it's got a little <laughs> hood with, like, some dog ears. Yeah. It's no longer cursed. You can wear it that as too. a fashion item. <laughs> Yeah, true. The curse really turned on you in the end there, it became a boon. Uh, okay. So. Three people making magic. Uh, what about the others? Uh... Guess I'll bring up this question. Mm. So, you know where this is going. Yes. <laughs> I guess I'll call like a group meeting for this. Oh. So we get done having fun with magic, and Grandpa wants to have a have a sit down and a chat with everyone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Gather around the fire, everyone. Grandpa wants to tell a story. <laughs> Sure, let's go with that. Is it true? Are you gonna tell us a story? <clears throat> no. Uh... Oh. What was I thinking? Right. Um. Hold on. I I I got it. I know what I want to say, but it's just not. So, blood curse, yay or nay? I'll get rid of it now, depending on how you vote. Well, how do you feel about it? I mean, if you're willing to take our input, I think it's really bad and you should get rid of it. I think so too, however, I want to hear both sides of the argument. You say it's bad for me, however, it could be worse in someone else's hand. There's the bad. You could, you could just get rid of it. Who says somebody else has to have it? Also, this is like a god-like whatever being. They have multiple yeah. followers, as we know. Yeah. However, I hold the key to his live power. And if I have it, no one else can. We can just can destroy we... it. Is that like an option? Like, why does someone have to have it? I don't know of any way to destroy it. Have you tried fire? <laughs> No, it's 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 a conceptual idea. It, it it's just light in We could try dispelling it if it's like magical. My only concern is you're currently what, a blood ooze thing? What happens whenever you give it up? I'll turn back to normal. I have a potion ready for that. 
You're certain of this? Yeah, I used it once on... What's her name? Zayden? Thank you. I was thinking Zaid and I was like, is it... Sure, but yeah. Used it on her, it worked perfectly. It should be relatively safe. I mean, I don't see any compelling reason to remain voluntarily under a curse. That's just my... It just seems like a bad idea. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but I will put it up to vote. I am... AMA. Sorry, if we vote yay, is it to keep yay it? Yay as, as in get rid of, nay as in keep it. Yay? Well, I mean, if you don't have it, what if someone really, really evil has it? That's I, the, that's I, the I think we've already covered it. I Like, this is a being of, like, godlike ability or whatever. They can recruit as many people as they want. What if they recruit someone who's not good? They probably are already doing that. This is not going to stop them or impede them in any way. You think they can't have multiple agreements with people? I mean, look at Amana's head. Mm. Is there a possibility that you lose control? I mean, yeah, that's been a concern. I have, like, the scroll. <laughs> Impulses, I suppose, of it. I you want our opinion, but what is yours? Do you want to be free of this? That's why I'm asking you, because I don't know. You don't know what you want? Yes, I do not know what I want. Well, I'm saying, if, you know, if a curse isn't something that you actively want, maybe you should, like, not have it. That's, you know, you're not actively consenting to having it, so... Didn't yeah, accept it in the best of conditions, yeah. either. If I recall right, it was somebody either does or the realm that we were in collapses. Yeah, pretty much. We lost all that teleportations and stuff. These little portals we never used. I believe it would probably be for the best moving forward that it is, you get rid of it. If another being comes forward with its power or whatnot, we at least know how to fight it, and you will have the insider knowledge of what they can do. Okay, so that's two for yay, and I doubt the rest are going to say no, so... Yeah, I'll just take the potion. Keep bloodify. Goopant. What? You're gonna ungoop. You're gonna goopant. Right, we're gonna ungoop, yeah. Unjellify. <laughs> That's a niche but good spell. Inqua has been able to keep up quite the form of uh, pretending to be humanoid uh, for quite a while. Uh, to the point where you're almost surprised to see him in his full jello form glory. He swallows the, um, the potion, his form ripples, it becomes red and squidgy. And then the blood flows straight down over the sand, sinks into it, and left behind is just, once again, Inqua. How are we feeling? Do we need a good berry? Oh, no, no. We're just going to lie down and call the day. 
Is Providence and Arrowhead doing? Well, um, so I'm assuming Providence does not know any of what just happened. Providence is just fucking out of it at this point. <laughs> I've just got out a book and I'm just like, okay, hey, you do blood curses, I'm a read. <laughs> <laughs> Arizid will approach Providence with his flask of hot chalky. <laughs> and he will go, ahem, ahem, ahem. Just get a look to that. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, that might have been a lot. Uh, I want you to know that, uh, uh there was like. We, there was, we, 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 he's got deep bloodified. Okay, I don't know how to explain this to you, but, uh, there was apparently, like, this, like, god, and this god wanted him to be, like, bloody, uh, to, to be, like, the heartbringer of his, not will, but, like, to, it was weird. But would you like some hot chocolate? Oh, my god. Arisid, is this? Yeah. Calm down. I'm calm. This is this is baseline. It, it, it gets so much worse than this. I'm sorry. That's baseline. Yeah. Don't worry about it, though. I'm fine. No, I'm concerned. I'm at like a two out of ten right now. Okay. Um. What is that? Oh, it's my hot chalky. It's like a. It's like a hug for your mouth. It's in like this flask. I'm gonna be honest, you get a look of pure confusion. You can just, it's, it's like a drink and you drink it and it makes you feel safe and happy. That won't be enough, but sure, I'll try some. He offers his flask, he was like shaking it, he's like, here, here, here. Oh my god, calm down. Sorry, I'm excited for your first hot chalky experience. Is... Thanks for explaining things. I don't know how helpful my exclamation was, but um, we're we, we're doing a lot of like world saving stuff. So if you need any ex explanations along the way of what we're doing or, or who we're fighting, like we're probably gonna see uh, Sklad soon, and uh, they're kind of a mess. But um, you know, I'll I'll explain things as we go. That would be nice. Just assume I know nothing of the out of side of that camp, which would be an accurate term. Okay. I guess I'll try the hot chocolate. It's like nothing you've ever tasted before. It is sweet and like thick and warm and it makes your chest and your tummy just feel like they're just being hugged. It's far sweeter than anything you've ever tasted. And you've probably never even tasted chocolate before. Suddenly you yeah, feel overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're kind of shaking a little bit. And you feel like a little bit more jittery. <laughs> and you may be beginning to realise why Arizid is always acting a little bit jittery. Or at least you think so. Are you a are you addicted to this stuff? I... Uh, I wouldn't say addicted, but I drink it every day. That sounds that like a good like idea. Yeah, I like to share it once. It's nice. Thank you. Just hand it back to you. I didn't realize making magic possible for people didn't have it in their blood. Hmm. Watching literally three people make magic in front of her. 
and somehow the hot chocolate is the thing that's most surprising to you. Yep. Just drifts back to the book. <laughs> and the night can pass. If everyone's oh, yeah. done with them. I actually have one thing I want to do before we go to sleep. Sure thing. <laughs> Um, I would like to try to slide of hand uh, the box with the emerald pen in it into Chance's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you can certainly roll against his passive perception. He has noticed. Chance, you feel a heavy box enter your pocket. <laughs> James just kind of looks towards a, what? What are you Other doing? kind of like pretends to look away. <laughs> Obvious, he just put something on. What? What is this? And Chance gonna take it out. Uh, you take out like a, a kind of like a light green, papery sort of box with like rain flowers wrapped around it, like a bow. It's a gift. Chance squints. What's a gift? <laughs> Do you know how, like, sometimes you just give me things because you care about me and you want me to have them? It's like that. I thought maybe this trip to, you know, see father slash brother might be, like, difficult for you and I didn't know how you would be afterwards, so I thought maybe a gift would be nice to cheer you. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, is it traditional to exchange something in return? No, 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 no. I mean, maybe for, like, holidays. But is this is just uh, because I want to gift. Oh, well, um, in that case, I've been... Uh, somewhat meaning to eventually give this. Do you and kind of, like, scratches the back of his neck as he reaches into his pouch or his bag and pulls out uh, a sapphire and gold necklace. That's for me! <laughs> You'll nod. Uh, I came across it in travels. It's so pretty! And she'll kind of like pull her hair back and go, put it on, put it on! <laughs> Chance will... Oh, we'll put it on. It's beautiful! Go ahead, open yours. Uh, oh, okay. And Chance will open the, the box. You will see a, a pen made of emerald. <laughs> oh, this is... something it's, it's magical you don't need ink to write with it and uh unless you cast that one spell um illusory script without any of those messy material components oh i thought i thought you might like it it's perfect I will try it out at my earliest convenience. I mean, sure, just just whatever you want. That's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you don't like it, you can use it to make a spell or something. But I thought you would like it. Oh, it's it's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm glad you like it. Uh, uh so just look up into like the darkness. It's uh, getting late. We should probably get some rest. Yeah, yeah. Um, your bedroll? My bedroll's full of sand. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 
When has it not been? Before Ollie took it, it was not full of sand. Chance is kind of nod. That that's very understandable. All right, and then he'll just start setting up the bedroll and everything. Somewhere in the background, you hear uh, Ollie going like making a high pitched cutesy squee noise, and maybe even a mumbling that her plan is coming together. <laughs> Erised will sit to Providence and practice writing for like five minutes and then get frustrated and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds accurate. Okay, do we set up watch at all? Um, if we do, Solus is going to have his summon his horse and have it do an entire watch. If not, look through the watch through the entire night. <laughs> I think Audrey will just stay up for first watch naturally, because she's going to need a while to calm down from that interaction. <laughs> uh, Chance will summon his familiar and tell it also to keep watch and wake him if anything happens. Okay. Uh, and he, I guess Chance will take final watch. Uh, leaves third watch. I believe. I believe. I'll take it. Hmm. We have watches set up. Cool. Hey. I can't. I can't do this. I don't think I might be about to be sick. Um, oh no! Okay. Oh. oh no! Take a break. Yeah. Go, go get rest. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry to call it there, guys, but um. Yeah. I no, can't, you're I feeling can't unwell right now. So take a long rest. Yeah, we're gonna pick this up <laughs> next week. Hooray. Take a long rest. Eat a good berry. Yeah. I'll yes. try. 